A new Mobile River Bridge and Expressway plan proposed by the Common Sense Campaign's Lou Campo Minosi and Eastern Shore businessman Kevin Spriggs would virtually cut in half the $2 billion cost of the state back plan that was killed last year. Last week, the Eastern Shore Metropolitan Planning Organization endorsed it. Mobile's MPO took no action. Until ALDOT says this is something we can embrace, I don't think that you'll see this MPO you know, take action. The mission now is how to get state leaders, including the governor, to eventually take a look. It's in their interest to try to find a solution. Okay. Concurrently, you have other people in Montgomery who have been working with us all along trying to find the funding for a non-toll plan. What they are calling the Coastal Alabama Consensus Plan calls for a bridge and an expressway to the eastern shore in conjunction with the existing bayway. The key part is that the existing routes would have no tolls and exit 35 at Daphne and the eastern shore would remain. Exit 35 is the key for what's going on with the eastern shore. But to get through to state leaders, including the governor and ALDOT director John Cooper, Spriggs said it needs the backing of more than just eastern shore leaders. And after we can present a consensus, then the next move would be for the governor and Cooper and the ALDOT bureaucracy to get back involved and actually analyze the plan and see how it can be funded. In Mobile, Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.